Hey guys, welcome to today's show. What I want to cover on today is is a technique that I have done extremely well. At, and it's probably my strongest thing. It's probably my strongest thing. Um, it's what I have a ton of confidence in. It's helped me out through a lot of times. My first tournament win came on this technique, and it is throwing the one and only square wheel crankbait. Um, the reason why I like a square wheel so much, it's basically it's basically just a really good tool. Um, there's not a bait on the market that you can reel faster and cover more water with, in my opinion, than a square wheel crankbait. Um, it's, it's, it's not just a great fish finding tool, it's also a phenomenal fish catcher. Um, a smaller size one, especially like this 1.5 KVD, is a great, great fish catcher. Um, it's just a powerful, powerful, powerful tool that you have to learn. And if you learn how to fish a square bill, your fishing will escalate so much. I can promise you that. You need crankbait for that matter. It's just a square bill in shallow water when you're covering, just, just covering water and you know, beating the banks and everything. I mean, it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal lure. I can't, I can't emphasize it enough. I mean... I've caught so many fish, so many big fish on this technique that it's just so, it's just worth talking about. So what makes a square hole so good? Well, it's like your typical, just like your typical crankbait. You know, it's, it has a body, it has a lip, it has two hooks. The only problem with square hole is that they do tangle up a lot. But what it is, is that when you look at the bill, it has two points or edges. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look, but when you see it, it has two pointed edges on it, and it's basically in the shape of a square. And what that allows you to do is that if my if my fist is a stump with those square edges, when you come in contact with it, when that when one of those edges bumps, it deflects, it kicks off, and then once it kicks off, it comes back, it comes back straight. It's just deflection power and the ability to work this thing through a lot of cover is probably why this thing has worked, has worked so well. It works for anywhere from rock, tree stumps, laydowns, grass edges, boat ducks. It's just a very versatile tool in shallow water. Um, I mean, and also with the square, you also get a different action than any other crankbait. Square boats have a lot more wider wobble than they do wiggle, um, but it's a great, great fish catcher with just with that action. And I've caught fish from 43 degree water till 90 degree water. I mean, I've caught fish. I mean, I've any states I've been to to go bass fish, whether it be Iowa, Missouri, Texas, Oklahoma, South Carolina. Um, I just recently went to Arkansas. Anywhere where I have gone in the country, I have always caught a fish on a square bill crankbait. They're just so dominant, and I still see guys catching them from New York to California to catching really big bass out in Florida and uh, from Alabama. I mean, they're just so, their range of options with the square bill is just so wide, and it's just probably why they're a favorite among a lot of anglers, especially me. Um, so, yeah, like I said, where I like to throw them, um, wood is obviously the number one place to throw a square bill. Um, rocks, I mean, it's probably my, one of my favorite things is throwing a square bill on rocks because when you have a square bill on rocks and it continuously is deflecting off of it, it can produce some really, really fierce strikes. Um, grass, depending on your line size, a square bill is a great, great tool in grass. Um, I don't know if it's if it's the wobble, but for some reason the square bill, depending on the square bill that you choose, I should, I should say that um, a Strike King KVD 1.5 is my all-time favorite. It's it's a relatively cheap bait, um, but for some reason this one, a KVD 1.5, will go through grass a lot better than say 
a Lucky Crab. Now, I'm not bashing Lucky Crab. Lucky Crab makes some really, really nice stuff. Their quality on their base is really, really nice. Um, but a KVD is really, really hard to beat um, in grass. I mean, this thing will work anywhere. When I had to tie on a square bill, a KVD is my first choice. Now, with that being said, a Lucky Crab does have its times. There are certain lakes in Iowa where they will hit this a lot more than the KVD just because of how, because every crankbait is different, whether it be a Lucky Crab, a Striking, a Rapala, as some people call them Rapalas, or a Bandit, or a Sixth Stance, or just something like that, River to Sea, um, every one of them, every one has a different action. One will be more tighter, one will be have a lot more wobble, um, but but they all work. They all work. It's just some lakes, some crankbaits do better than others. So always keep that in mind. If you're just new to square boat fishing, I recommend picking up several companies and see which one likes which one fits you the best. For me, it's just a, a KV square bill. Um, a lot of guys that I know, my buddies, they all they all swear by them, including me. Um, I caught my biggest bass in Iowa on it, an eight and a half pounder. Which is really, really big. Um, my buddy caught a ten, a ten pound, one ounce slonch in Iowa on a square, on a KVD square bill. But they're not just big fish baits; they are great, great fish catchers. Big one. Oh. <laughs> Number three. Um, my retrieve speed on a square bill when I'm covering water is just, it's just a simple steady go. Um, now, I do vary it a little bit, especially around rock. Around rock is when I get a little bit, a little bit out of the box with it. Where I'm reeling it, I mean, I don't really want to reel it all up right now. But when I'm reeling it, and I'm on rock, if I, when I start feeling rock, I'll, I'll just reel, keep on reeling, and sweep. And then reel, and then reel back up my sign, but always maintaining, I'm always keeping that crankbait going. I'm always keeping that crankbait going. I'm just reeling, sweep, reeling, sweep. You may have to reel a bit faster when you go back to pick up lines to keep it going, but otherwise, that's when I get in rocks. That's the only thing I do different. And when I'm around trees, of course, the, the incredible method of hitting your crankbait on a log. Or stump and stopping it, and then keep on going. It's it's a great great fish catcher. But if you're just going down the bank and looking for some active fish, a crank a, the the wobble on a crankbait can't get the trick done. But with some square boats like this KVD, if you re, if you get it at a certain pace, they'll keep on going, and then they'll and then they'll start uh, they'll start getting scared. So start work, they'll start going out. We'll start, you know, doing what a scatter wrap does. A wrap a scatter boat. We'll have wandering action, excuse for lack of a better term. They wander. And a lot of times that's that's all you need for it. I mean, if you do that, um, you'll be in good shape. Colors. Um, colors vary. I'm always a match the hatch guy, but whenever I go to a new lake, I always have a bluegill tied on. I always, always, always have a bluegill tied on. I've caught a ton of big bass in this. Uh, it's caught me interest. I mean, I hate using the word big bass because I don't live in a state where there's many big bass. But I'll rephrase that. This bait is just a butt kicking bait. It's just, it is a great fish catcher. I can't emphasize it enough. It is just a great fish catcher because all fish eat bluegills. No, no matter that. Didn't it? And and not just and not just bass. I mean, I've caught pike and walleye on this thing, but I always have a bluegill. Um, now this color isn't really talked about. It's kind of a regional thing, but in Iowa, this bait has its times where it's better than a bluegill, and that is a sexy sunfish. Um, I don't know what it is about this one, but when the water gets a little bit more stained, a little bit more muddy, they can't handle this thing around beds, especially if they're if they're spawning and they're on beds and the water's a little bit muddy. This is a great bait. 
Um, always keep a good pattern of shad or shad of shad hue baits. Um, you know, if you have a typical sexy shad, you can have something like this uh, gunmetal shad by Lucky Crab. Um, like in the spring bait video, I talked about a little about sexy blue black pairing. Um, at my tournament at Lake McBride, this was a big, big factor. I mean, sexy blue back hair, and I think caught the majority of my fish. Um, now, more, for more stained water, you can go with the chartreuse sexy shad. Uh, my all time favorite muddy water color, Katawachi Special from, from Strike King. Um, it's basically a chartreuse black back. I'm pretty sure every, every, every company who makes crankbaits makes a chartreuse and black back. Um, this bait really, really shines when there, when it's just, when the water's just muddy and there's bluegill around, this is a great, great fish catcher. Um, in the spring or around smallmouth, especially up in the Mississippi River, I always carry an orange belly craw. Always, always, always. Because I've always noticed that craws have a little bit of orange in them. Uh, the water's a little bit more clearer. I like this DD Craw. It's a great, great color. Uh, especially if you're around down in Texas where the water's a little bit stained. Uh, these red hued colors are really good. Um, I don't have any on me right now, but if, if the water's clear, a brown colored scramble is a really, really hard bait to beat. Um, that's about it uh, for colors. One more thing on squarebills. If you are truly serious about catching, about really catching fish on square bills, you might as well swap out your hooks. Uh, this is, you know, you have your, you have your normal hooks on a normal square bill, and then I always put and I always replace square bills, especially for a tournament. I never fish a square bill in a tournament without changing the hooks. And my hook of choice is a KVD triple grip Mustad KVD triple grip hook. I'm not a KVD bandwagon, it's just whatever he puts his name on, they end up being really, really good products. Um, but it's basically an EWG style hook. I mean, you hook one on this, it's almost like a jig. It's super hard for them to come off. Um, and it's just it's a great, great uh, hook. So, but when you're changing hooks, I always recommend on changing them to the exact same size as the one that they came with so you don't lose any action or they get off of too. Um, finally, rod and reel setup. For crankbaits, it is so, so important that you follow a correct crankbait setup. The rod is the most important part. If you don't have a rod that has a, a, at least a super soft tip, let's see if I can get this with you guys but if you don't have a rod that has a super super soft tip you're gonna be ripping a lot of fish is you're gonna be ripping a lot of mouths open with a square bill crankbait because when a square bill is going and a fish and a fish wants to catch it that soft rod lets them lets them eat it a lot better and it fights them a lot better if a if a you know six pounder bulldog to the side of your boat always always beneficial to have that soft tip to absorb some of that shock um, but also, a soft rod also lets you load up and make a really, really long cast. Excuse me. Uh, lets you load up and make a really nice long cast. It lets you throw up this bait accurately, but also have a strong backbone so you can always take down a big bass. Um, my reel, uh, 6 4 to 1 to 7 to 1 with a square bill is a great, great option. Um, this is an Ivan Garcia. AL, Revo ALX is. It's Probably my favorite reel by now. Uh, my rod specifically is an Agu Garcia Ike Delay series rod. I just got this rod and I fish it in Southern Arkansas. <laughs> it's probably going to be one of my favorite rods already. Uh, line uh, anywhere from 12 to 17 pound test is good. 17 pound test is good and a lot thicker cover around trees and stuff around grass. Um, 12 pound test is greater on rocks. 14 pound test just a little bit in between if you're on a budget. Um, but that's it. Square hook fishing is a great, great way to catch fish and catch some big fish. It's a dominant tournament technique, and I hope with these tips, you can get started square hook fishing and really get out of it. Have a nice day.